over the past month or so, I've made a few trips to Sephora and to other places like the Body Shop and Target. So I have lots of stuff to show you. So with that said, let's get right started. Let's start off with the big guy. I have invested in a few Marc Jacobs products and you know what? I don't even feel guilty. I love them and let me just tell you about them. The first thing I've got is this Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. Mine is in the shade Ivory Medium. This is kind of like a medium coverage foundation. I've probably used it five or six times and it is amazing see amazing see it has a buoyancy gel that awakens your skin to translucent translucency and clarity and it says it's supercharged foundation and it honestly is amazing this is what it looks like it really is kind of a gel formula it doesn't smell bad because sometimes foundation smells kind of bother me and I am really glad I got this seems like it's a decent size too oh, one fluid ounce like they all are Meh. okay this this thing it says size does matter. All right, Marc Jacobs. This is a, the bronzer from them. I believe this is the only shade they carry. It is called their Omega Bronze and it says it's perfect tan and the shade is 102 Tan Trick. I love how big this actual bronzer is. I love the mirror that comes with it. The actual shade is perfect. It's not too orange. It's that kind of naturally sun-kissed look when you have this on. And I mean, the packaging just can't be beat. Like this is stunning. Um, you're definitely paying for it though. I'm going to be honest. Okay, the next thing I should have talked about right after the foundation, but this is the Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush. It's a foundation brush and like this thing is amazing. Like I don't know what it is about it. It must be the way that it's cut and it's so soft, but it just makes foundation go on flawlessly. And I've used it with other foundations, not just this Marc Jacobs one. And I love it. I'm so glad I invested in this. And I mean, it's just like... Hi. Hi. So this is a product I actually got a little bit while a little while ago. I've used it quite a bit. Um, it is the NARS Olympia Contour Kit, and it comes with a contouring shade and then also a highlight shade for underneath your eye. And this thing has been amazing. I went on a couple trips this summer, and it was just really awesome to have not only your bronzer but your under eye setting powder in one. This is the contour brush that um, you can buy separately, which of course I did little set is amazing I'm really glad I got it um, this is a really nice light shade for me so when I become pale like I am bound to be soon um, it will be really nice for contouring and this brush I mean I, I can always justify buying makeup brushes because I'm like I'll have it forever unless I don't lose it okay the next thing I got is the hourglass mechanical gel eyeliner um, gel eyeliner and these things are so cool you get three in a pack because it says that you get about 20 applications from each eyeliner so it's kind of cool that you get to buy three at once now let me let me tell you a story about this I saw this at that front little checkout area when you're in Sephora that I know it just you know gets you every time and these were $19 and I was like wow like three eyeliners from Hourglass which is an amazing brand for $19 yes please so there is no question, so glad I got it. Um, I'm using it in my waterline today. And then I looked on the website and it says this is $52. So I think the Sephora I was at had them mispriced and I feel kind of guilty about it, but at the same time, you know, sorry, not sorry. Okay, the next thing I got, like this is the prettiest highlight I've ever seen in my whole life. It is from Becca, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. It is in the shade Opal and it, my friend Amelia had actually told me about this months ago and I just hadn't got it and you know, I blame myself for not getting it sooner. It is just so gorgeous. I have it on my cheeks today and it is just like, I don't know, like the prettiest shimmering golden champagne-y like, Ugh, just I love another product from Becca is their blush their mineral blush in damselfly I think this is just the prettiest peachy color it has a tiny little bit of shimmer in it but the qualities of the quality of these shadows is just bar none like it they are just amazing um, the entire Becca line is just unreal it just feels so right the next thing I got is the urban decay naked 2 how do you say it? Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics. Naked Basics 2? Naked number... whatever. This eyeshadow palette is phenomenal. It... can you see that? It is a little bit cooler in tone than the original Naked Basics palette and the Naked Basics number 1 palette. Um, 
I use that all the time. So when this was coming out, I was like, mm-hmm, I am getting that. Here, look how pigmented that is. It's like kind of a deep charcoal color. Then I'm really loving primal, that's right there. And then cover is really pretty as well. And then there's one shimmery shade in it, and it is called Skimp, and it's a really, really pretty highlight shade. Um, I have been super impressed with this, and Urban Decay Shadows just... Oh my God. Phew, we're good to go. The next thing I got is this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which is one of my favorite products. Um, I honestly do think it works. And this is just a little travel size. I got this for some of the weddings I was doing, the makeup I was doing for weddings and whatnot. And it's just a lot easier than toting around that massive bottle. I just like things that are just small, you know? Okay. I got another one of the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundations from Tarte. This is honestly a holy grail product for me. I am obsessed with it. It is an airbrush foundation, so you can use it on its own or over top as a setting powder. I like to use it as a setting powder in the areas where I have issues, and it is amazing. Like, seriously, my sister tried it recently. She loves it. I, it is a little bit pricier, but it does last a long time. And yeah, I cannot say enough good things about this. The next is an Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is um, actually something I got in one of those like 500 point uh, bonus perk sets, you know. And um, so it's not a full size, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to purchase the full size because this primer is amazing. I mean, it is expensive, but you can feel why you put it on your skin and it literally feels so soft. It like hydrates your skin, just gets it so prepped and ready to go. And I'm just like, hourglass, yes. Next is a product I got a couple months ago, actually. I just haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. It's the Their Real Push-Up Liner from Benefit. When I first got this, I wasn't a big fan. I just was like confused on how to use it. But now that I've used it a bit more, I actually do really like it. I think it makes applying a gel liner really, really simple. And I like that when you're traveling, you don't need to be bringing the liner plus a brush. So yeah, I do really like this. Um, I have it, I use it in a tutorial where I do this makeup look. Um, I'll have that link below if you want to see it. But yeah, I am really impressed with this. And I do like that it doesn't come off, it doesn't smudge. And um, the hype around it is, you know, it's justified. Let's just be honest. Okay, the next thing I got is something that I have been wanting for a long, long time. It's the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil Arch. Just Arch says over there. Mine is in soft brown, I believe. Soft brunette. And this eyebrow pencil is amazing. Unlike the Anastasia Brow Wiz, this has a little bit of like a thicker tip. So it makes... Uh, filling in your eyebrows a little bit faster and I love that it's a really kind of hard like you do need pressure so it doesn't your eyebrows don't get unruly that was a poor description but I love 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 this product it comes with a little spoolie on one end I don't know why it took me so long to get it but I also love that it's sulfate free synthetic dye free phthalates phthalates free but anyway Hourglass is an unreal company and I'm really glad that I'm just you know getting into it Okay, we're almost done here. We're almost done with Sephora. Next thing is this Laura Mercier High Coverage uh, Concealer for the under eye. There was a lot of hype around this product. It's new and it is amazing. Laura Mercier does amazing skincare and just, not skincare, just skin. Like, what am I trying to say here? Like, products that go on your skin. If you suffer from dark under eye circles and you're looking for something, like I would compare it to my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, um, if not more coverage, which is crazy, but um, it is awesome. Like it's quite thick, so you do have to work it in a bit, but I find using it with a damp beauty blender just does one does. The next thing is a lipstick from Too Faced. I love the packaging, first of all, just simple and sleek and golden. And this is in Naughty Nude. And it is a really, really pretty, just kind of medium nude-ish color. That is a swatch right there. It's really on trend right now. Everybody's talking about Kylie Jenner and that lip color. This would definitely go along with it. I think it's really pretty for the fall time. And it's really, really hydrating. And I love Too Faced. And that's all I have to say about that. It's a Bumble and Bumble BB Pret and Powder. It's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. Oh. I have been loving this. I use it even on days where my hair is clean just to add a little bit of texture to the roots. Um, it's really cool actually. You can you can kind of like tap it into your hair or you can just do this. Oops, see? This is a nail polish from Sephora. This is just a really pretty gray color. It's called Extraordinary. I love gray nails. I think that it's really flattering and fresh and 
cool. Cool girls wear gray polish, right? And lastly from Sephora, I got the Anastasia Stasia Dip brow pomade and this thing you guys is phenomenal. I got mine in soft brown and I used it today on my eyebrows. It is just an amazing product. It makes doing your eyebrows really really easy. It's a little bit softer product than some of the brow pencils so you can get a little bit more of a dramatic look but yeah there's just nobody beats Anastasia Stasia when it comes to brows. Okay and next I went to the Body Shop. Body Shop always has these really awesome deals where it's like buy two products, get one free, buy three products, get two free, like that stuff and I'm just a sucker for that. I just can't help myself. The first thing I got is a bronze shade warm glow. It's not a bronzer though. I don't know why they're calling it that. It's definitely a highlighter. It is so so pretty. It has like a pinky golden kind of undertone to it and it is just so gorgeous. I'm really glad I got it. And yeah, Body Shop has amazing products. It's all cruelty free. That's what they stand for. I feel like they were kind of the first ones to do that. So, you know, sometimes I'm just like, holla, I support you. The next is a Body Shop bronzer. This is their Honey Bronze Bronzing Powder in Fair Matte. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. It's um, a, quite a light shade, so I like to kind of just do an all over bronze with it. But um, yes, I'm really pleased with that. And next I got a blush. This is so pretty. It is in the shade Ginger, and it's just a really kind of immediate, kind of actually light pink color. A little bit of shimmer in there, and I just really like it. I like the packaging of it. And yeah, I'm impressed with Body Shop. I also got Indian Night Jasmine Eau de Toilette from the Body Shop. And like, oh, that, oh, it just smells so good. And it, it just smells so good. I also got a lightning touch kind of under eye highlighting concealer-y type deal. It's one of the clicky pens. I love these for highlighting this part of my face. And this one seems like really nice quality. I don't like these to be too full coverage. So um, I've used this a few times already and I'm really liking it. Next I got tea tree oil, just straight up tea tree oil. If you're having problems with breakouts, this can really help with bacteria and clearing them up. So that is that. Okay, I, prom I promise you I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Firstly, I got an Essie polish. This is in Warm and Toasty Turtleneck. It's on my nails right now. It's kind of like a muted, lavender-y, grayish color, which is really nice for the fall because I love my lavenders, and this is just a really nice version to switch her up come September. Next, uh, this stuff is from Target, by the way. Um, next is an e.l.f. blush brush. This one is, it's kind of like tapered at the top there, and I have been loving it for doing highlighting, like just getting it right up in there, tapping her in. These brushes are literally so inexpensive. My Target is always sold out of all the e.l.f. brushes when I go there, but I was happy to get my hands on this, like literally $4. Like, yes. Next, I got a concealer from CoverGirl. This is Ready, Set, Gorgeous. Mine is in the shade Fair, and I've been wanting to try this out when I was younger. I always used to wear CoverGirl concealer, so brings me right back. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this. The quality is awesome and I mean it's affordable, right? You can't always spend a trillion dollars. Okay, and lastly I placed an order from Tarte Cosmetics, which I love Tarte and um, they had this amazing deal where they had teamed up with Lauren Conrad to make these little bags where um, these ones were handmade by artisans in Guatemala so it helps provide funds and employs women that uh, don't have a lot of money and I love Tarte and I love Lauren Conrad and I ordered this little bag for my sister for her birthday because I'm the best sissy and, mm -hmm, and I ordered one for myself too because I just could not resist, okay? So anyway, in this bag, what it came with is a gifted... Ugh, a gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. It has a really, really nice consistency to it. I'm not the biggest fan of the Lights Camera Splashes Mascara from Tarte, but I've been super impressed with this one, and I love the packaging. Just like a little bamboozle. Bamboozle. And also in the bag, you got a Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss. This one is in Flush, and basically I guess Lauren Conrad chose like her favorite Tarte products, and so when Lauren Conrad says that you need these things, I'm just like, okay, Lauren. And one of my favorite things, maybe my favorite thing, is this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Flush. 
I think it is just the prettiest pinky, almost purpley, lavendery color. And these blushes are always my favorite. It's just that really, really gorgeous pink color. And yeah, I'm happy to be collecting a few more of these. Also in the bag came um, this Tarte Preci Precision Longwear Liner. Um, I love this eyeliner. I have, I use it already and I had ran out of it. Oh, I think this is my old one actually. But um, yes, these eyeliners are awesome. That's everything that came in the cute little bag, but while I was on the Tarte website, I also got um, the Amazonian Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel. Um, it just looks like this. I'm pretty sure it's similar to the Benefits Gimme Brow, even though I've never tried it. It just comes with this teeny tiny little wand guy, and it is colored, so it not only helps keep your brows in place, but it also adds a little bit of extra color for the areas that maybe have, you know, that are sparse. And last but not least, I got the Tarte Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. This guy is phenomenal. I have a tutorial posted where I use it, so I will have that linked below if you want to watch it. But just take a look at this. Like, yes, you got a blush in the middle, bronzer, highlighter, shadows, and the quality is amazing. I just think it is I'm just happy I own this. Like, I'm just happy to hold it. So that is everything that I got. I know that is a ton of stuff, but honestly, I just like it. And I don't know why I feel like I have to justify it. Let me know what your favorite product is that I got or it's just something that you're loving at the moment. And other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Naked to Urban Decay Basics palette from Urban Decay. Like, why can't I talk? Wake me up when September ends. Hello? Oh, what's up? Oh, dirty. Okay. Um, I'm just a snob. I'm just kidding, I'm not. Hondo. Hondo. Just awesome. It is awesome! Hey, how's my teeth?